This lesson introduces a message from the chief executive of PMDA, Dr. Fujiwara's priorities to you. This content is a reorganization of the presentation at the DIA annual meeting in June 2021. Dr. Fujiwara's priorities are realization of the four Fs, patient first, access first, safety first, and Asia first. The efforts made to achieve each priority will be introduced focusing especially on patient first. First, PMDA's actions to prevent the spread of COVID-19 are introduced as an example of Access First's efforts. When the COVID-19 pandemic occurred, no approved therapeutic products were available, and the public urged the early approval of reliable therapeutic products. To respond to such needs, we promptly approved the distribution and use of COVID-19 related products after carrying out pre-consultations, expedited reviews, and other measures. For some of these products, the English version of the review summaries or review reports are available on the Pharmaceuticals and Medical Devices Agency website. For example, Remdesivir was approved for use among COVID-19 patients three days following its initial application after receiving an emergency use authorization from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Although the period from application to approval was only three days, the available data was submitted prior to the application and reviewed. This process, which is similar to rolling review, enables us to conduct such speedy approvals. Even after the approval, PMDA collect data during the period of actual clinical use, evaluate the collected data, and revise the labeling as necessary. A special pathway, known as a special approval for emergency, is approach adopted to fight against the COVID-19 pandemic and developed to approve the use of medical products during emergency situations. Under this pathway, the coronavirus modified uridine RNA vaccine, SARS-CoV-2, was approved in February 2021. Additional measures have been taken during the application process for this product. To ensure safety after the approval of its use, a post-vaccination health status survey was conducted alongside the immunization reporting system for 10,000 to 20,000 healthcare workers vaccinated in the previous phase of the vaccination campaign to determine who experienced adverse events. PMDA also established a relief service which is beneficial to the people and patients. This is a no-fault compensation system for individuals who developed adverse drug reactions ADRs in Japan. This service allows people to accelerate the early access to COVID-19 related products. These services also cover remdesivir and COVID-19 vaccines approved for clinical applications under the special approval for emergency and cover the treatment fees and other expenses when ADRs occur. Next is the activities of the Asia First strategy. The Asia First activities are not only Dr. Fujiwara's priority, but are also promoted by the Japanese government. In June 2019, the Headquarters for Healthcare Policy of Japan developed the idea of a grand design for Asian pharmaceutical and medical device regulatory harmonization under the Asian Health and Well-Being Initiative. It was approved by the Cabinet. Accordingly, the PMDA is promoting regulatory cooperation in the Asian region. It also serves as a tailwind 
to realize Dr. Fujiwara's priority, Asia first. Japan is establishing an environment to promote the development of drugs all over Asia in collaboration with not only the PMDA, but also related stakeholders such as academia. The operations of the Asia Training Center for Pharmaceuticals and Medical Devices Regulatory Affairs, PMDA ATC, are some of the major activities of the Asia First strategy. As part of the Asia First strategy, PMDA also used different methods, such as joint symposiums and bilateral meetings, to communicate with other Asian countries, in addition to the operations of the Asia Training Center. In the previous fiscal year, overseas travel was impossible due to the travel restrictions imposed by different local governments in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. But PMDA organized a number of virtual meetings, as shown in this table, to deepen mutual understanding. Dr. Fujiwara considers that patient first is the top priority, as he is a medical oncologist. Patient first is about improving patient satisfaction by learning what is happening in clinical practice. These activities are actively promoted overseas as well. There are opportunities for patients' representatives to participate in and express their thoughts at various meetings. The ICH is making efforts to incorporate the patient's feedback in the GCP renovation, and patient engagement is being adopted internationally. The ICH is also discussing patient-focused drug development, PFDD, which is expected to eventually lead to harmonized guidelines. This slide shows a brief history of patient engagement in the US FDA and EMA. As you can see, the EMA and US FDA have already been working on patient and public involvement, PPIs, for several decades. In Japan, Increasing efforts were made to promote this initiative not only by the PMDA, but also by various organizations. Since PMDA started it after Europe and US, we tried to implement PPIs in line with the Japanese environment. These are PPI activities implemented by the Japanese government as the importance of incorporating patients' feedback into government policies is recognized, the Japanese government encourages patients to participate during the planning stage in clinical research and trials and educate those who can participate in research planning and evaluation. In the academic society, patients are invited as speakers in several sessions related to oncology and other fields of speciality. In the Japanese Society of Medical Oncology, on which Dr. Fujiwara is a member of the board of directors, sessions involving the exchange of opinions between patients and experts are held every year. To incorporate patients' feedback in PMDA's activities, such as drug review and risk management, I believe PMDA needs to work in line with the PPI. Hence, Patient Centricity WG was established to promote those activities right after Dr. Fujiwara's appointment as the Chief Executive at PMDA in 2019. The staff themselves are preparing draft guidelines to promote PPI at PMDA. As a matter of fact, Many of the PMDA staff do not have clinical experience. Patient cooperation cannot be promoted without knowing what they think when they receive medical care, i.e. their expectations, anxieties, and level of satisfaction with the drugs, devices, and treatments used. To listen to the patient's feedback, 
PMDA increases opportunities, such as meeting with people in patient-related organizations and learning from and listening to patients and survivors. Through such experiences, PMDA try to understand patients' thoughts and proceed to the preparation of the guidelines mentioned earlier as the first steps to implementing PPI at PMDA. The basic concept is to actively and systematically collect the opinions and knowledge of patients. The provision of information to patients must be enhanced. In other words, to ensure patient participation, the patient must be encouraged to provide input and reliable information must be provided to the patient as output. The PPI activities were scheduled to be released in the spring of 2021, but it might be announced later than originally planned. We encountered several challenges in establishing a structure that allows patients' participation, ranging from the development to the post-marketing of pharmaceuticals and medical devices to the promotion of recognition and understanding of the regulations and PMDA. However, PMDA will continue making efforts to overcome these challenges. In summary, to respond to patients' needs, PMDA should speed up the access to COVID-19 related products and collaborate, especially with the different Asian countries which are close to PMDA. Safety first must be emphasized to ensure the administration of appropriate and safe medications to all patients. Regulators rarely see patients and are more likely to be unaware of them. Keeping the four priorities in mind, PMDA promise to deliver better products to all patients in Japan, other Asian countries, and worldwide in a timely manner continuing the activities to help improve public health worldwide.